I which delusional somebody make this now? Huh? Yeah, you don't know, you don't realize say, I'm here as a potato. Hi, guys. Una, well, you don't care, I don't have no hand. But hi, guys. You don't realize I'm, I'm here as a potato. Yeah. As if Chantal can use filters and don't come up, so can I, girl. So. Yeah. All we live in the Lulu land, I'm identify as a potato. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> you exciting? <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Action. You love me. Message me and let me know that you would kiss me. <laughs> you wish. What's up, what's up, people? Uh, go on. Welcome back to another video. I know I've been away for a minute. But the girl kind of boring also. And I don't have time for Chantal and her foolishness. I'll be back in the gym doing all that cause in a way I'm going to end up in a wheelchair like Chantal if I can't do anything about it. <laughs> Anyways, people, I'm going to check out this one. See what I'm going Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> hey guys, hey. I know your girlfriends love to watch me. So what better way to say I love you this Valentine's Day than to get your special someone a personalized video from me on Cameo. Get what? yours now and don't delay. Make Valentine's Day a special day. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> First of all, Chantal, I ain't got no girlfriend. That is number one. And number two, my man no watch you. What do you mean by girlfriends? He's my husband. My husband. <laughs> what is she talking about? What are you talking about? Girl, it's a nice little jingle glass. I'm going to knock your hustle, awesome, girl. Come to. Yeah. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another video. Yes, I am still recovering in bed, and I am also making this video in my PJs from bed, which is why I'm not on cam for this one. I have chosen to add hearts as the background, and I will also show some video clips. What the fuck? I even tried just sitting on, man. Hold on, hold on. So, what is all of this popping up all about the place, girl? This is this is making my eyes hurt. Chantal, low effort as so of 15 fucking minutes. Became unbearable. The pain, that is. After about two minutes, I have to lay down. Anywho, I managed to do a weigh-in, though. Again, undressed, therefore, I just took a picture of the final scale reading. So, my last weigh-in was not a good one, if you remember. About 11 days ago or so, I did a video talking about my slip-ups, and if I recall, my weigh-in was somewhere in that video. I was back up to 165 kg, and everyone was wondering how on earth I gained 13 pounds in less than a week. Uh, water retention from binge eating is my only guess. Uh, that, that is the thing with them girl, I know, you know. Everybody's been wondering how I got 13 pounds up in a week. Oh my god, guys, it's binge eating. It's, bi it's binge eating now. Mm. Mm. But when we said, oh no, I don't binge, I'm not binging in a very long time. Hey girl. There are so many reasons why weight fluctuates. I was on a slippery slope of just eating crap and tons of sodium and all the things that are not good. Eat that feelings, girl. Eat those feelings. For me and those things in excess. So a few days before that weigh-in, or approximately two weeks ago, I had dropped down to 159 kg. I was very happy no, with that. You fucking lie. Now, as you can see, my weigh-in today, I weigh 155 kg, which is a huge drop. That's... Chantal, you know, we're not 245 pounds. Who is she lying to? 341 pounds. I cannot even remember the last time I was in the 340s. Now... <laughs> Shut your mouth and keep on talking, girl. Now, being essentially bed-bound for the most part... I mean, I can still walk around the apartment slowly for a few minutes at a time sure. and use the washroom on my own and shower, uh -huh. but I figured I would gain weight, not moving much. The thing is, because I'm in constant pain, constant as in the pain is always there, but it's tolerable when laying on my side with a pillow between my knees. Um, so because of the pain, I don't have as much of an appetite. Well, I'm man, so why Chantal need pillows in between our knees while she's laying on our side? That girl don't hear fupa hangs. <laughs> Don't you fupa hang there, girl? What are you, what's your top boat? Sometimes. I still get the head hunger, though, and there's boredom of laying in bed and wanting to snack all the time. But I'm surprised. Girl, you know, if you didn't have a life like a real husband, my husband, then you would not feel about all of this girl. And if you had children and, uh, you know, things that the normal people, average people of Chantal, mm. would not have all of these problems, girl. But I love this face still. Surprised, I have lost so much considering my eating schedule has pretty much been as follows So because I'm not cooking right now, we will order one main meal. So I usually eat very healthy for this Hang on because we're not cooking right now when Chantal did I cook? Them food did not look bad still Chicken 
a salad every day and i usually eat like half a chicken so like the bread well what's just half a chicken for this chicken a salad every day and i usually eat like half a chicken bum, so, bum, like, clock. the lady <laughs> The lady says she usually eat half a chicken. No, sir, this can are real. The breast and some of the leg, uh, which I don't really love, but it's tolerable the way this place cooks it. For chicken legs and dark meat, I find that if it's cooked, like almost burnt or burnt, pretty much like burnt a bit, like so that oh it's not, God. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like moist, dark meat. I like it very burnt. But with the chicken breast, yeah, it has to be moist, of course. Um, I don't know. I just I think it's because of the dark meat, the leg, and the thigh have so much more fat. Oh, my God. <sighs> this, and she really like, okay, girl, you should stop talking like you know anything about nutritional value or anything. What? Anything about macros. And, girl, eat. That's what you do. Eat. Eat your food. That when you cook it longer, the fat kind of, like, dissolves more. Anyway. I'm weird, I know. <laughs> so I eat chicken, uh, a salad every day, um, hummus, or a salmon bowl, for example, uh, with black beans and guacamole and quinoa or brown rice. What I love about the bowls is they pretty much have like... Oh, this is a very filling um, bowl. I, I've made this several times, but not really with um, salmon. Something like maybe white fish fillet or even shrimp or so. Yeah, really good. It, it fills you up and you don't have to eat a lot every food group in one and i really enjoy those and when i'm able to like make things on my own again i think i'll get the ingredients to make those more regularly so then every day i've been having an avocado smoothie with honey and pistachios this is a very common drink i can't understand why people keep keep on drinking the calories eat food eat food here at juice stations um they're called avocado juice with um nuts and honey and when I first came to Kuwait, Salah introduced me to those. He was having one and he said, you want to try a sip? And I said, what avocado smoothie? Ew. Because avocados, I'm very finicky on them. I don't know how people, some people could just eat them just like that with nothing else. Just plain avocado. To me, they taste like plant butter if, <laughs> if you eat them plain. So I have to have them mixed with things. And this is the best. It's so good. Um, avocados are so healthy with good fats and fiber. Oh my vitamins. fucking God. <laughs> More nutritional facts <laughs> from the lady we ain't forging our ad bone. <laughs> Monopoly, which are essential for healing. I mean, even the doctor is prescribing vitamins for me. So mm -hmm. you know, our body needs certain vitamins and minerals to sure, sure, kind sure. of speed up the healing process. Yeah. So then after this main meal and the avocado smoothie, I usually have hours later, like late at night, because my sleep pattern is all mixed up. Sometimes I like, you know, I nap throughout the day. Um, the pain makes me more tired than usual. So Love that um, for I you, girl. a mixed plate, uh, which I'm able to actually stand long enough to make myself or Salah will help me and just bring me the things he knows I like and I'll just kind of like prepare it in bed. So I'll eat a mixed plate of pita bread, labna or cheese, olives, pickled eggplant, and a small bag of chips. So it's, so it's weird to me that I've still lost so much because, you know, especially the avocado smoothie, I'd imagine, you know, and the, the night meal is kind of higher in calories, but um, I don't know. Like it's I don't know what kind of mental gymnastics are going on, but Chantal can convince me say after being more sedentary than she normally is for like maybe about a week now. She's lost weight. A shocking weight, girl. Yeah. Chantal, you can stick your way all the way up my ass so far. That light come through my ears. I don't know if it's just I haven't been counting calories, so um yeah, anyway, just mo I mostly eat when I'm hungry. But I do need to eat because of the medications I'm taking. I mostly eat when I'm hungry. I mostly eat when I'm hungry. That lady said, people. <laughs> right around the clock, the lady just a gristle like cow. <laughs> you know, anti inflammatory medicines uh, can cause stomach issues. So I try to take them with food. Anyway, I will weigh myself again next week and see what happens. I went back to the doctor today. So if you uh, want to know any updates about that uh, in full, you can watch my live stream. That's good. So what go on so why Chantal in a wheelchair? People, me, me kind of dip in a outer girl world. Work I go on with itself and my back in the gym more actively. Holiday season come around and all of a fruitcake and the ice cream. I put on like a bit more weight. I mean, I sit down and wait upon myself to get to 200 pounds again. Absolutely not. Let alone for step on the scale. I see 300 and 400 and I'm be like, oh my God, guys, I lost a pound and a half. We need to start get active again, like really, really active, 
more than just the steps in the morning and so I'm back in the gym more religiously. Why Chantal in a wheelchair is what? What kind of a seller that we say? <laughs> what me miss? Did she fall or something? I would catch a wheelchair. Bad to bad, Chantal. <laughs> Love this fear still, girl. I did. Um, tonight, it's my latest live stream. And I talked about how I went to the clinic, back to the clinic uh, nearby to um, just for a follow up, basically. And they asked me, you know, how my pain level is um, just to see that kind of thing. Well, actually, the way it works. Like no, honest, why is she sitting like, why she look like this? Oh, man, this is very, very concerning. This is very concerning, Chantal. Please go home. Why no I'm your mother, Chantal? Why don't you mad on them? I was in a wheelchair because um, I know a lot of people are thinking that I'm wheelchair bound now. And um, it depends. Like until I um, am able to heal more and walk longer distances because of the injury, um, it's very painful. So a lot of people who have this type of injury um, in their back or sciatica pain, it's debilitating. Like it's hard to be. Mom, you're walking around with that extra. 200, 300 and add bone pie, you. You've been at this all along now. This is nothing new. This is not new. All of a sudden, you know, but I want. And she did a run up and down about parking, um, whatchamacallit, parks and whatnot from the other day and be like, oh my god, guys, I walk for three and four hours. Chantal, I try to convince you she should walk for four hours, people. Three hours, four hours continuously i get like 10 steps in in the mornings and it might take me about a whole one half or 45 depending on if i'm out there by myself or if me have company and i walk and talk i shan't tell one time she get a couple steps in in i should walk for four three to four hours i don't even have the energy for walk with two and a half hours i don't think we never try to get to that like like myself over 45 Shanta said three hours who is child? Be in certain positions for a long time without it flaring up. So like sitting is extremely painful. It's more painful than standing. Um, but standing is also painful. And then the thing with standing, like if you're if you're gonna, gonna think like, well, if it's so painful to sit, why don't you just walk more? And um, I was able to walk from the car to the um, clinic entrance, like, you know, go into the entrance, the administration, go see the doctor. <laughs> hey, them, them snap away the girl like Choose for insert. <laughs> Why I? I can't bother. <laughs> oh God. Uh, but then there was like an emergency at the clinic, and the doctor had to like tend to that because it was late at night. Later at night, and so we would be standing around and sitting around for a while. So well, answer. So this is at the clinic. What a place I look beat down around down. So. <laughs> Hold well, on. Did you say, um, Chantal say Kuwait is like one of the richest women personally? And then we had to move to a, a place in the clinic that was far away. So, um, yeah, I had help with a wheelchair for that. And when I go to the clinic, depending, um, I find that if I stand too long, then my leg gets a lot of weakness. Aww. So, like muscle weakness and numbness. Aww. And so I opt for the wheelchair, like just so I don't fall. <laughs> You know, so that's that's why. But as soon as um, this is healed, I will be back to walking. Oh, oh my! Anything for the lady, just sit on this ass. You're not gonna scream, evilist now. Your evilist ass not gonna try to. Oh my God, guys! Look, I'm disabled. Uh, okay, that's for sure. Um, still looking into treatment options. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to see if it will heal on its own. Uh, on its own, I've been told that. This yes, you like what you're trying to see if this extra 200 300 pounds is just gonna go away and on its own meanwhile they just eat and push food further down in your throat more and more every day it's the doing nothing at all to ever make anything right for me type of injury um even like herniated or slip discs i should say and sciatica which kind of go hand in hand um because sciatica is just usually a slipped disc uh, parts of the disc slipping out of order and pinching uh, pressing on the nerve causing that nerve numbness and pain and it's so bad i've never experienced pain like this in my life like i've said like, on anyone oh oh chantal are you sure you wouldn't wish it on anybody is she being for you right now people hmm. girl i know nothing but the worst for you hmm. 
it's so 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 painful and like i said it's debilitating you can't do much for very long but i'm pretty Aww. stubborn like you know if i have the choice to just laze around then i'm more likely to do it um in my free time but if i don't have a choice and i'm like forced to be in bed oh well well so what should i make this look like it's anything what i know girl you're always laying down you are always laying down the only time we see you sitting upright is when you get up to look good is when you sit down to film the look of the team up bang them i make it look like oh he's such a a, 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 a queen bee that's not normally sitting upright during the days and all worky work girl get fucked pushing yourself to the point of pain it can make things worse is what the doctor told me so um yeah i have to take it easy until this is healed and a lot of rest is you know what is going to help with that healing basically mm -hmm. i'm just trying everything people are suggesting um you know also the doctor tell you one thing but you're going to try everything else along with that Everything was the people that I say, I go work, you went try that on top of what the doctor said. Noted. You no, know, like um, ice, then hot, then ice, um, sunlight, everything. But uh, yeah, I'm mostly just also taking, um, I, I get an injection every other day now at the clinic and it's like a pain medication and also some vitamins injected like into my um, hip, kind of hip area, like lower back, sorry, lower back area, but like off to the side. So, and then I also take on my own some strong anti-inflammatories that are like um, non-steroidal um, inflammation medicine. Aww. And I take also a mild muscle relaxer. Aww. Um, I don't think that they're all, like none of the pain medications are very effective because they all don't target the nerve and they don't have the same kind of medications here in Kuwait. And oh my God. What is new? Every fucking thing is a problem and an inconvenience for this woman. <laughs> They don't have the right kind of medications here. But at the end of the day, you know what? She was where she could get all of the medications to fix all of the problems she could have ever have. The ones she have now and all the ones that she could ever have in the future. You know what the lady do? Take up herself and run back to Kuwait. So yeah, girl, anything at all where I got you right now, you deserve it. You deserve it. <laughs> and it's hard to, you know, have access to proper pain um, management so i'm just doing what's available right now oh um, yeah <laughs> but i'll be i'm doing okay and i just hope that it goes away you know I've, like i said i've been told that um this kind of thing takes time to heal so um sometimes it takes like months sometimes it takes a couple of months mm -hmm. i could have wait last surgery was going to take a year and a half but here you are back in kuwait yeah girl sometimes a few weeks it just depends so I'm trying to, uh, yeah, lose also some weight is good because especially mm -hmm. in the abdomen, that can really pull on your vertebrae and just cause more problems. And which is, you know, why if you have a large abdomen, you know, a lot of pregnant women get sciatica. They develop sciatica when they're pregnant. Ah, 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 ah. So oh, we are talking about you and your problem, your, your self-induced, inflicted problems. And you go compared to... I know you fucking lying, Chantal. I know you fucking lying because of the extended abdomen and i have that you know not pregnant just being overweight so um mm. and morbidly obese morbidly obese ma'am just being overweight so um that is something that i have to fix and being in the 340s is seriously um very encouraging like 341 mm -hmm. so i only have a few pounds to be in the make up your mind 340 what six four, what is she saying i'm confused I am confusion. 330s and <laughs> like three pounds. And that will be a new low in years. I have not been that weight in a long time. Um, so it's more for health at this point than anything. And I hope that I can I'm achieve that skin legend. Um, for my better health and future. And I can get back to doing things for you guys. I just, yeah, I want to touch. She want to get back to doing things for us, guys. Shut up. No, no, this way I don't have a weed. <laughs> Girl, none of this was never for us. None of it will ever be for us, girl. This is all for soothe your, feed your attention. I feel like in your pockets, girl. I'll be back to doing this again for you guys. <laughs> hey. Mm. Touch on that a minute. I know that I haven't been camming up. And I will say, the, you know, the main reason is that... I which delusional somebody make this now? Huh? Yeah, I don't know, I realize that I'm here as a potato. Hi, guys. Well, I don't care, I'm not having an But hi, guys, I don't realize I'm here as a potato. Yeah, because if Chantal can use filters and don't come up, so can I, girl.
So. Yeah. Allah will live in Dululu. I identify as a potato. <laughs> Um, being in bed, like I mentioned, is the least painful position for me at this point. And therefore, uh, I do a lot of my content from bed. Oh, um, Probably even my cameos are going to be from bed. Yeah. So, Somebody's going to buy a cameo for you for $30 for you to be laying in bed. It's not look good. So, um, I just have to be comfortable and I don't want to show my room. Um. We shan't all have the same dirty space on our own see before. Girl, you've shown us the rooms before. We see the old dirty furniture, then we have to show the living room as soon as I went back to quit. Be like, oh my God, guys, look what my husband did. I can't believe he did this. What is she hiding? That's a lie, is not there. That's not a mystery, girl. What is wrong with you? Yeah, I don't want to show my room when I'm live streaming. I don't want to show my room in videos. We don't give up. Just down. You know, I just, it's not uh, appropriate anymore for the, you know, for my life. And I just also. Um, the less I have to get dressed, the better. I do have to force myself to, you know, go through the painful motions. All right, Chanta, just lay down, pan like, just lay down like a seal on the seaside. So. She not have to get dressed as so a people, you understand? It's more convenience for our lifestyle. All right. Come to beach wheel. In of getting dressed, I do get help from Salah, but um, just to go to the clinic and things like that, you know, so. Uh, nothing else is going on other than that. There's no, uh, no conspiracy theories in that. I, that's basically just what it is. And I'll be back on camera, um, before you know it, you know, um, I've always been on camera for years and years and I do miss filming with my face. I prefer that. <laughs> okay, shut down. Some of us don't mind. We'd have to show our faces, but again, I, I know I identify as a potato and shut down if came up, girl. To me here. We have about it now, Chantal. I'm here. I am here. <laughs> but as soon as I'm better, whenever that will be, and whenever I'm able to get out of bed and do more content, I will do it. Mashallah. So, anyways, I guess that's it for this video. I just wanted to give you some updates. And again, I'll weigh in probably next week and uh, sometime. And until then, I wish you all the best and take care of yourselves. Bye. Okay, okay. All right. So, the lady gave us all of that, all of, well, all of nothing. Right? 15 minutes worth of video. Not not in it also. I don't know if you tell us. Boy, you should come over here. Take care of myself, girl. Bring me a little potato ass back into the gym. I lift weight ass, girl. Mm. 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 Try to take off a little weight way. Me intentionally put on during the little bulk. Me a struggle with sins to take off. Oh, God, don't pray for me. And then the holiday come and the only for cake and thing. I'm put on five more pounds. Mm. Anyways, people, the lady give away the little content and I, I did what I could do with it. So, that or that. Anyways, thank you guys for being here and I'll see you in the next one.